former Major League great Terry Pendleton's first season of organized baseball at age 10 was miserable, and that tear field season has never been forgotten. I actually, I moved from South Central LA to a place called Oxnard, California, and never played organized sports before at the age of nine. And I didn't uh, know about baseball, or basketball, or organized sports at all until I was 10 years old. And I got my first opportunity to play uh, organized baseball at 10 years old because I met a family whose uh, dad coached and they became my godparents and, and I ended up playing my first year for him. And I don't know if I fell in love with it because I went home crying every night because I couldn't get a hit. I got one hit the entire year, double over the first base bag. I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I was that kid that played right field um, that just, just um, really didn't know how to play it, never played it before, but wanting to learn, but was frustrated by the fact that everybody else was better than I was. Luckily, he had coaches who cared and who made the game fun. And because he was blessed with talent, an incredible work ethic, and a genuine love of the game, he reached the major leagues. He enjoyed 15 productive seasons, played in five World Series, and was the National League's most valuable player in 1991. But he's quick to tell parents to refrain from pushing and pressuring their kids because that is not a recipe that results in success. When they're 12 years old, 13 years old, and you're pounding in them what they need to do to be better, they don't want to hear that. I was 12, I was 13, I don't want to hear that. I want to know that you appreciate me going out there, having a good time, doing the best I could to be the best I could. And really after that, if I want to go home and play catch with you, I'm going to call you dad, say, can we go, can we go throw the baseball or do this? Allow them to be kids, because they lose that. And some of them, I know a number of them that lost interest at 16 because it was pounded in them so much at an early age. They have to do this, you have to do this. Somebody else is practicing, you gotta get better. Listen, if your son is gonna be a Major League Baseball player, there's nothing you can do to stop him from being that. He's gonna have that type of talent, he's gonna be that type of player, and trust me, he don't have to play in 2,200 leagues all summer long to be seen. If he's that good, he's gonna be seen. You have to find different drills to make it fun for them. You have to find different ways to keep them, keep them involved in it. I mean, I think the worst part about baseball is just standing around. It, it becomes boring at times. So a batting practice, play outfield game where they're, they're, they're shagging fly balls and they get a point for each one. And you know, you just kind of make it fun for them where ground balls a point and a fly balls two points. And, you know, we call it power shagging. You know, you do that for them all in the infield when they're waiting. You know, hey, if you catch this ball, this area is a certain thing. You have to try to add games to the game to make it fun for the kids. I think the biggest thing is that, first of all, if you can and if you have the opportunity to get to know the kid. You know, a lot of us as kids have gone through a lot of different things. You know, some have, have grown up with single parents, some have grown up with both parents, some have grown up with parents that didn't care about sports, some have grown up and that's all the, the, the parents want them to do is play sports. But you have to find out what that kid did, what, how he grew up, and what gets him motivated. You know, maybe talking about music to one of these kids to get them going. And maybe talking about history. Maybe talking about something his dad or uncle or somebody fishing or something to that effect. If you get to know the kid, that's a giant plus. Even at this level, we have minor league kids that come up. You try to get to know them. You know, find out what makes them click. Find out where they were born or where they grew up and, and get into a conversation with that. A lot of it is gaining trust in the coaches or managers. And once they do that and they realize that you're working your rear end off to help them be better and that's all you care about is them being better, you'll gain the confidence of them. They'll do, they'll run through a wall for you out there. Terry Pendleton was productive at the plate and in the field throughout his career as he won the National League batting title one season and also earned three gold gloves at third base. And he played a bunch of different sports growing up, which he says were so valuable in contributing to his development. It's also a great reminder for parents to expose their kids to as many sports as possible. First of all, I tell them to let them play every sport they want to play, if you can afford to. I know this is crazy nowadays. If they can, if they can afford to, let them play whatever sport they, they want to play because dad might look at his son and say he's going to be the greatest shortstop ever, and his son may be the greatest defensive back to ever play the game of football. But if he coaches them up to do one thing, you may never know what he can do in the other sports. So if they want to play something else and you don't mind and you can afford to allow them to, please allow them to because you never know what that kid might be. The other thing is let them go out and have fun.